The first Chapter 4 Season 2 update, 24.10 is here, bringing along an Easter event allowing us to earn free rewards with unvaulted items returning, brand new skins and augments and so much more. And to celebrate Easter if you'd love to be surprised tomorrow with a chocolate egg, Peely says drop a like right now. Anyways, starting out with the release of this update, first of all today of course, despite Fortnite displaying across social media, the brand new trailer which we've already played in the background, they've issued a reminder that now is your very last chance to get Rift Knight Karen and everything else contained in March's crew pack on screen right now before March 31st, when at 7pm Eastern Time will be granted if we're subscribed once again, Triarch Nox and everything also, on screen surrounding his particular set and the V-Bucks and Battle Pass access. Speaking of Battle Passes but not this one, the prior one, believe it or not we've been pleasantly surprised today, if you literally did nothing toward earning Geralt of Rivia, you would have unlocked everything, however this reward screen popped up for all players who had something outstanding to earn last season but didn't. Due to the expiration time of being inaccurate, we've granted you all rewards from the Geralt of Rivia Battle Pass quest and as you can see I only needed the wrap and also the second selectable star being Viper School. As many expected today with the release of the Easter event, us to get another free skin, this isn't the case. However, with the introduction of the Spring Breakout quest, as you can see right here, going on for a week and five days when I'm recording, which happens to mean you've got until April 3rd or 4th to earn all of the six free items you're seeing on screen right now, alongside many cases of 20,000 XP for completing the quests, with many more leaked Easter skins set to come to the item shop that were added into the files today. And by the way, speaking of the files, there's no encrypted cosmetics, meaning everything that's currently in here added in this update is all we're going to be seeing until April 3rd or 4th when these free rewards are no longer able to be earned which I'm guessing is when we're going to be seeing 24.20 and Eren Jaeger become available or release. This in itself would need another downtime update as previously stated despite us not seeing a page 2 on here full of question marks in anticipation of more rewards being revealed. G-Matrix Games basically confirmed we're going to be getting a page 2 as he states there's a loading screen surrounding Eren's code name being Clay Radius I believe and as you can see from looking at all the rewards we can currently see anyways in the files are visible on the tab for Eren, there is no loading screen in sight, meaning there's definitely more rewards surrounding him and who knows, with a page 2 upcoming, perhaps we get the Titan style finally, which could look like this, and hopefully even more AOT based skins or collaboration items in the item shop. And just before we go on to reveal the super styles and even the May and June crew skins, yes you heard that right, look how insanely close we are to 2.53 million subscribers. Hit the subscribe button right now, turn on all notifications, it only benefits you at the end of the day as I do try and gift five people off my friends list who subscribed, commented what they'd like below and their Epic Games ID and who knows, you could be showcased in the next video. Me and my dog Charlie the Charcoal Pug want to thank you for supporting code FM1 inside the Fortnite item shop, literally one of the shortest and easiest codes to enter so enter it if you haven't already. And whilst Fortnite's been lacking its fun innovation like we saw what got created back in the day such as the shopping carts being silly or fun items, with the new Easter event releasing that's slightly changed as we now have not only two new chickens but three different eggs, two of which are attached to one, healing us and also putting a spring in our step or giving us the hop rock ability, and then the other chicken producing or dropping these golden eggs which seem to literally act like a chug joke, giving us full 200 heal. As for what may have slipped under your nose however, today added, finally the superstars as you can see on screen right now from going over to the bonus style section, you'll need to get everything first or unlock all of this before you can spend the battle stars on these three different tiers of styles, which start out with the kinetic rush styles, obviously thunder being the first one, unlockable at as early early as level 130, the second page being the Neon Citrus styles with a kind of emerald type of finish, so does this mean finally Fortnite have listened to us slightly as they knew we wanted the emerald axe harvesting tool and maybe they'll add this to complement these super styles, who knows. Finally though of course you guessed it, the colour scheme for the final set of styles, called Mega Wave and Mitsuki being the final one we can unlock, being only earned at level 200 so make sure you grind into here before as it states right down here at the bottom on the left, June 2nd before this season ends. And despite this suspicious NPC Triarch Nox added that isn't on the collection section or wasn't anywhere previously, just being revealed by Epic Games to be the April Crew Pack skin. As you can see, Hypex Another Day to Mine has tweeted out today that all of these are under the name Crew in the files. This of course not only makes sense of Triarch Nox's name now and also means that the Triarchy of the last reality isn't sadly the Q Queen, the Herald and Triarch Nox, which I definitely think would have been a nice touch to the storyline. Instead, this rulership of three, which is what a Triarchy is, hence the name Triarch Nox, is these three characters and as of right now, we don't know what order they're going to be releasing in, but obviously they are going to be, as previously mentioned, the May and June crew packs. The most interesting, unnoticed or subtle change today, literally a matter of numbers added to what game modes people are playing right now, in real time it states how many people are playing what, whether it be normal battle royale, zero builds, and any or all other creative maps at the same time, which is definitely insane. For those that are regarding Fortnite and clowning on it, memeing dead game, although we 
we did get a Dead Games skin as a starter pack previously from this meme actually reaching the acknowledgement of Epic Games or Fortnite. As you can see, Hypex just like to remind us there's currently around 1.5 million or more concurrent players in Fortnite, this just being an all-round statistic, all rounded to the nearest number. And as you can see, he states all the information backing this up below, around 368k for Bass Royale, zero build, 273k, top 10 creative maps, 150k, and then all of the others, plus even more creative maps. Of course, this number's going to be even more inclining with the release of Creative 2.0, and now the potential for Fortnite to be even more than just the game it initially was. Another subtle change that doesn't affect me as I'm a console player, for all those PC gamers out there, Fortnite now has new options for building sensitivity and editing sensitivity on keyboard and mouse. Maybe this could contribute toward the success of running both unvaulted items that were unvaulted today at the same time, being the charged shotgun and flintlock pistol, which have been unvaulted as a part of the new Go For Broke augment. Speaking of augments, all the new ones in this update, including the one surrounding the flintlock pistol and also the charged shotgun, as you can see there's 5 total added today in 24.10, so feel free to pause the video to get a good look at all of these. Sadly we didn't see any new weapons today added, however, although we've already seen the smart pistol shown off in the Chapter 4 Season 2 cinematic or gameplay trailer, speaking of weapons and more things being unvaulted than just the flintlock and charged shotgun, drum shotguns and reinforced walls apparently will be unvaulted soon, drum shotguns have gotten data to spawn in display cases and reinforced walls have gotten data to spawn in the new vaults and supply drops, they now drop in stacks of 4 instead of stacks of 5. As for the Chapter 4 Season 2 trailer, however, clearly showing involvement or correlation to the Peace Syndicate, now that we have these Syndicate challenges to confirm this going forward with the storyline, the Syndicate Part 2 challenges all got revealed or even implemented to the game, and as you can see, here are all of the following ones to get a free emote that was literally just added today, being this kind of like, I don't know, emo ghost sticker. And despite no further updates happening for this particular bundle, which we now believe to be scrapped as only the image of the whole bundle instead of individual cosmetics are in the files, a new bundle that could be upcoming soon called Koi Kingdom in correlation to the Japanese-like theme we have this season. According to Wenso, as you can see from the survey skins, apparently these two are going to be included throughout this particular pack, set or bundle. Speaking of survey skins, G Matrix Games confirmed today that they're finally working on already despite the release of just now the Easter or Spring event, the summer event and skins that are going to be contained throughout that particular time period. As Summer Meowsles, this one of the surveys is upcoming. As you can see from the concept in today's thumbnail, hopefully we do get other summer fan favourite skins such as Peely and potentially this is what both of those could look like, performing an emote which could be relevant. As we've seen a huge flopper before in the Chapter 2 Season 3 trailer with Aquaman coming out of the water riding one, and with Fortnite friends tweeting out what seems to be jigsaw puzzle pieces of a bigger picture to be joined together, the fourth one released literally like 8 hours ago when I'm recording, which confirms that all of these images join up as it's the bottom of a slurp fish and as you can see we have the top which is cut off before it actually shows the bottom. Hopefully with the release this summer of the Sadler item shown off in the Chapter 3 Season 3 trailer, fingers crossed in Chapter 4 Season 3 we get an emote perhaps to complement the summer theme of water sports, perhaps us holding onto a giant flopper again that we'd seen previously in the Chapter 2 Season 3 trailer. Drop a like if you love this and subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on so that you don't miss any future uploads, but as for where you go to now click this video I picked out for you, whilst of course you wait for the very next video I do publish on the channel.